guys how are you doing well today is a beautiful morning right yeah right and as usual when i am not doing nothing or when i am trying to motivate myself to actually do house chores i am here trying to talk to you guys <laughs> yeah you are my motivation i mean i love talking i mean duh i love talking so guys anyway i wanted to talk about um lies men tell that's my topic today <laughs> please be tuned stay tuned for this well i wanted i wanted to talk about or rather i wanted to talk about this topic because this is a uh, things that have happened to me but i have i never realized earlier or at the time or before you know before not like right now like right now i really don't take people seriously until they are serious you know i don't so that is why i have to say you know what today i can talk about men lies mental too many trust me like too many <laughs> too many so anyway i wanted to tell you this a man will tell you that you are the only one. I only have eyes for you, honey. So, yeah. They'll tell you you're the only one. But then when you look left, you find him, he's flirting with other women. Like, you're like, I thought I was the only woman. I mean, I'm telling you, these men can make you feel like you're running mad or you're being obsessed or possessed. But it's because of the lies they tell. I mean, so me, I used to have a dude. Okay, he used to flatter me and tell me that, oh, he's very interested with me, he's very interested with me, he's very interested with me. Mm, and he only has eyes for me. And then, kidogo kidogo, on my, when I turn this way, I find him flatter with my friend. Imagine that. Imagine that. So, you just wonder, did you just tell me that I am, you only have eyes for me? Men, though. Men. Yeah. So, that's number one yeah today i've decided to write off because sometimes i tend to forget because sometimes i just really talk a lot like i'm just yappy 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 a lot so yeah and i have not done my nails well because with the coronavirus i cannot even think of it right now but also you really don't need to do them it's not a must sometimes but yeah sometimes you need to upgrade ourselves but you don't really have to i mean it's, it's not that serious right so number two this is the one I hate the most because I used to have a boyfriend, by the way, and he used to tell me the way he's busy, he's busy, he's busy. Until that time, I realized actually, you know what? If a man is interested with you, he will not say that he's too busy. He will always create time for you. Ah, uh, right? Yeah. So I used to have this man who was telling me, oh, I'm too busy, oh, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. So you, 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 you are like the idol one. You know, you don't have anything better to do than but to, do a, to, to ask when you can meet. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. So I hate people who tell me right now that they are too busy. I mean, please, boy, 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 let me tell you guys. A man who is interested in you it doesn't matter how busy the person is he will get time to text you and tell you how are you doing oh I'm just running up and down here and there trust you me like two days should not go without that person even a day it shouldn't really go without having remembered oh there is this chick of mine that is around here right yeah and let me tell you, the, real, the time I realized that actually this dude was playing me for a fool, like, taking me for a fool, like, I'm too idle, like, this chick is too idle. <laughs> imagine, imagine. So, yeah, point number two, men, lies men tell, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is too juicy, lies men tell to busy they're too busy i'm too busy with work i'm too busy i'm too busy i'm too busy trust me girl that person is not too busy that person is just so bored that you are too, you are a nagging i mean they're taking you to be a nagging person like you're too clingy hmm? 
it's time we start playing the games they play. Ama, yeah, you can also say I'm also very busy. Go, <laughs> I'm too busy. So, here is this another lie. So you try to call someone and this person doesn't pick. And then the lie they tell you is that their phone died. And they're telling you that maybe the next day in the morning. And then they tell you, or even two days, they tell you my phone died and there was no light in the house. So that is why I never called you back. Honeys, that's a lie. That is a damn, damn lie. That is a lie. I do believe it's a lie because there is no you can say two days without even talking to this person. And then when he opens the phone, you are the one who is actually texting this person to find out, hey, what happened? Or you're the one who is calling. He's not even the one who is calling to tell you. You're the one who is calling. Yeah? No person is lying to you. The phone did not die. The phone died on you. <laughs> the phone died on you, honey. Please get it right. So... Uh, so we've already checked on you're too busy. We've already checked the phone died. We've already checked. I only have eyes for you. <laughs> My goodness. Lies mental. That's what we're talking about. I mean, these are things that actually really do happen. Let me tell you guys. They really do happen. They really do happen. And people don't get it. And we don't get it. Like me, I never used to get it when someone is telling me that they're too busy. I actually did not understand they're too busy. <laughs> but <laughs> they're not too busy. This person is online and not chatting you. How busy is this person? Because there is another crazy one. When they are online, you they have blue ticked you. Oh my goodness. They have blue ticked you. <laughs> and then they ghost you for the rest of the day, but they are online. There is nothing as crazy as that. Do you know me? I used to have a boyfriend that used to do that to me. And I decided, you know what? Because I don't want to be looking like a crazy woman. Let me just put my WhatsApp. You know the WhatsApp status? You can you, you can put it, um the one, uh, the last scene, to nobody's scene. To nobody. Nobody. No one will see my last scene. Because it used to drive me crazy. I remember that was the time when I used to date an online guy. I gave you that story, right? Yeah. And it used to drive me so crazy because you've texted this person, he has blue ticked you, and then he has ghosted you for the whole day. <laughs> for the whole day, guys. For the whole day. So now you look mad, you look crazy, you look obsessed, you look dumb dumb, you look all sort type of things you can think of. Yeah. So that is why nowadays I really don't get it. When they're telling you they're too busy, or, or um, yeah. Exactly. That is an exa a very good example of when they say they were too busy, you know? Like, they cannot even respond to your text and they blue ticked you. Ah, what nonsense is that? <laughs> or, or, what nonsense is that? There is a guy, because I remember, <laughs> this one actually told me. <laughs> this is too bad. He told me that his phone is always online. How is your phone always online on WhatsApp? Can you stop being ridiculous? At his phone is always online. <laughs> they stay online. And I just saw your text. Lies. They did not just see your text. They saw your text. Actually, they did. I know. It sounds crazy, right? But they did. They did see your text. But they decided, you know what? This bitch, I don't got time for this BS. I don't got time for this BS. <laughs> well, there is this other one. I want to meet your parents <laughs> i want to meet you i can't wait to meet your parents and this person you have not even dated with this person for long this person has not even um made it official with you guys that it is serious or uh, or you know and please guys i've just remembered don't ever and then this person is telling you this this person is telling you that i can't wait to meet your parents this person he has not even officiated your relationship you guys are still out there dating. You know, you can be dating and not being serious. There is dating and be committed, you know. And this person is not committed to you, but already is telling you, I want to see your parents. There is another one, Kwanzaa, who used to tell me that I want to talk to your mother. <laughs> I want to say hi to your mother. How do you say hi to your mother, uh, to my mother, and you have not even officiated my, the relationship? Hmm? Let me tell you guys, please. Don't even try to fall to these kind of traps because these things are serious and they're real and they're true. They're true, let me tell you. They're true, guys. They are true. Huh? You need to stay away from these type of people because they're going to make your life miserable and they're going to make you feel like you are a crazy person. 
crazy person. <laughs> Another one. I will never lie to you. Gosh. I will never lie to you. Let me tell you. Especially this person who, these people who keep um, telling you, I will never lie to you. I will never lie to you. I do not lie. Let me tell you guys. That person is a trained liar. A trained liar. <laughs> that person is a trained liar. Let me tell you guys. That person lies every single second. Don't believe such lies that they don't lie. Let me give you an example of someone who used to tell me that I am not lying to you. I'm honest and all that, blah, 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 blah. So they'll tell you, you know what? We cannot be able to meet today because I have an errand. I have an errand. They do not even tell you what they are about to do, but they tell you, I have an errand. I mean, who does that? Guys, who does that? I have an errand. I have an errand so we cannot meet up. That is a person who is lying. And th let me tell you, there is someone, <laughs> you have reminded me, there is somebody who lied to me, point blank, told me they are in a particular, um, um, they are in a concert already. I think I have posted that, I have posted that story of, um, um, I can't remember. I will put I'll put it down there that story. So this person told me he's actually in the concert inside the concert, but he wasn't. Oh yeah, the one that I I was ditched by my boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Go check that out. So this guy is telling me that already he's in a concert, and then I am walking down the streets in Nairobi, and I am meeting that man with a friend. <laughs> Imagine such lies. Imagine such lies. Imagine such lies. There is someone who can even tell you that they are not in the house. And then, when you go there to surprise them, you find them there. And with a woman. Do you know the people who have met, <laughs> who, have, who have experienced such things? Okay. For me, I'm grateful because I've never met somebody <laughs> uh, in that kind of a situation, yeah? But yeah, these are the type of lies they tell. And they tell you that, oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to see your, your parents and all that BS. And all these type of lies, you guys know them. And they are all lies. They are even going to tell that they're going to buy you something. And they don't really mean it. Actually, they're just doing that so that they can get your attention. And so that they can get whatever they want to get. But they are not serious. Guys, they're not serious. When it, it becomes to being, being real, you told me you're going to do this and that. And then start giving you excuses of why they cannot do it. Goodness goodness imagine that hey <laughs> guys guys yeah so then there are these typical liars they may be baby mama dramas they tell you oh i am not with my woman i am not with her oh she's just the mother of my child oh we have to communicate and all that bs let me tell you guys there, there was this guy who used to tell me that it's just a baby mama drama and it wasn't it was the wife they are together so you were just there, he was just trying to get to your pants. And thank God he didn't, because if he did, oh my goodness, I would be crying. Ocean. <laughs> oh God, but there, there are people who have actually fallen for that. Because I have read stories of people who met and the person, the man was saying it was just a baby mama drama. It was just a baby mama. And then before they realized, you know, I've read these things in Kili Mani Mans. And then you realize, actually, this person was serious. <clears throat> Imagine. You realize this person was actually married. You are the second person. Who want to be an option anyways? So, yeah, those are the kind of lies and mental. And there's so many other lies they tell. Like, they tell you they're going to marry you. They are going to marry you. And that is what they want to do. And then, kidogo, kidogo, you see them with someone else. And you're like, like, really? 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 So, anyway, guys, continue subscribing to my channel. Don't worry, I'm going to make my background even better. You guys are going to see it very, very soon. So what I can tell you guys is have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. But enjoy yourselves wisely. Do not forget to self-quarantine yourself, like clean yourselves, like clean yourselves. Yeah. Clean in the house. You can use, you can use um the soap and water. Continue cleaning yourselves. Continue remembering those who are going through all these um, coronavirus things. And yeah, we pray God that is going to get rid of all these things. But yes, have a great day. Bye. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.
subscribe. Oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> Bye.